we are now live. I'm here with my mother today. She went to a site where a uh, individual had called out for help to SOB. Unfortunately, uh, the request was made a little too late to get any kind of major help there. But my mother was asked to place a video up here live about her experience with uh, her attempting to stop uh, the CDFA from killing chickens. So my first question to you would be, um, did you attempt to go in and talk to anybody? Yes, I did. Were you allowed to? No. Why not? Because um, all the, the chicken killers were around and the people were outside and at this time there's only three police officers there. And I walked up to the gate and they told me, don't cross the line. And then I asked him, is this, is this under a warrant? And he said, this is personal business. So the people were out there, the owners I suspect. And I yelled at them and the police officer told me again, Ma'am, you have to be quiet. This is personal business carrying on. So I went over to the um, chicken killers and I asked them, do you tell me who you're from, where you're from? Can I see your card? And they said, we don't have a card. I know, they said, um, let me see your card. And I said, you won't let me see your card? I'm not going to let you see mine. Now you said there was law enforcement there. What law enforcement agency was there? Riverside Sheriff's Department. And then at this time, while I'm up there and I'm talking to people, I'm trying to find out why, who are they killing, why are they killing them, um, did they get, did the um, birds get, um, checked, were they sick birds? No one would tell me anything, they just kept telling me, this is a personal, private matter. So I went and I went to the neighbors, they were outside. And I try to explain to them, please, please help me. These people are getting their um, chickens murdered. And they didn't speak English. And I'm assuming the people in the house didn't speak English too because when I was yelling like, hey, hey, and the police told me to shut up, they didn't even turn around. Or maybe they were crying, I don't know. Um, did you, could you hear anything from the chickens themselves before, during, and after the process was being taken place? It was horrifying. When they were going in and out, in and out, you know, I could hear just regular chicken clucking. And then um, they went out and they, I saw them mixing the medicine together. And I tried to stop it. I told them they had no right to do this, but they just dismissed me. They told me don't come belong, uh, past the line. And they asked me if I knew the people. I said, no, I don't. And I asked them if they would get them. They declined that. And um, then they'd go back in and they'd come back out. I saw them get all dressed up in their little white outfit. That was very sad. And they took back some medicine. And I could hear the chickens still clucking, being clucked. And then all of a sudden I would hear like them clucking real loud. You know, I'm assuming that's when they're getting caught. And then I would hear them, like, hitting against something. That trash can, I guess they were running around in there. They were hitting against something, and they were yelling. And I could hear the chicken clucking getting real faint. And I could smell this um, gas smell in the air, and it was really burning my eyes. Okay. Um, i trying to think of any other questions that would be pertinent to this. Is there anything you want to add to this? This is my first time to go to one of these and I really felt bad that I couldn't stop it. I mean, it's like no one wanted to listen to me. They wouldn't tell me what was going on. They wouldn't let me in the yard. They wouldn't let me talk to the people who lived there. The um, people that I did see, I tried to talk to them to get them to help me. And they were just Spanish people. It's like we couldn't understand each other. And I sat out there and I plotted, watched, you know, the people just drive by and look real slow. And it's like nobody stopped to help her. 
I got told to get out of the street because I was talking too loud, I guess. And um, I waited there, and I didn't know if to wait and go in and speak with the people and ask, you know, any questions. And if they didn't have speak English, I couldn't communicate with them. So I wanted to wait for my son to come home so we could halfway put something together and try to help people like this. It was really very sad. I, oh, I, and I saw them sign the paper that um, they told the people that they had to sign. And I yelled out no, but I don't know if they heard me or what, but once again, I was told to shut up. This was personal business. That's it. Uh, there's been a few people who made up comments. They wanted me to tell you that uh, they're very sorry and that no one has been able to stop them yet. That's one of the comments made by Joan Barton Henson. Uh, a couple of people apologized that you had went through this uh, experience. I just would like to know how to make them stop. I mean, like, I was there and it was I had no control. It was, four police there at the time and they just kept telling me I could not go past this line and this was business getting taken care of uh, by my own business in a nice way. Okay. Uh, anything else you'd like to add before I uh, sign off? Oh yes. I wanted to um, film take pictures so I could show people, and the police officers did not allow this for me to take pictures. And I couldn't really hear what they were laughing at, but when they're killing the chickens, I was trying to find help, and I could hear them laughing. Who was laughing? The police officers. So the sheriff's department possibly thought that this was humorous. Maybe. I, I don't know, but I did hear them laughing. And they, did they give you a reason you were not allowed to take pictures or a video? Yes, that it was business being taken care of. Okay. Well, that would probably pretty much wrap up her first experience with uh, dealing with the chicken killers. and. I would do it again. <laughs> but, but I hope I have better ending. <laughs> And uh, local law enforcement, as you can see, uh, I had heard that Riverside Sheriff's Department was not involving themselves with this, but to an extent they are as far as they're attempting to keep people away from the locations and attempting to keep people quiet about it. Um, I'd like to thank you for, uh, actually Gina, this is not her chickens. Uh, our chickens are currently uh, in, and I wouldn't say in hiding because they're not in hiding. Uh, they've been served their death warrant papers, but when we uh, when they called us and told us they were coming, SOB showed up and uh, so did Animal Control Services. And while CDFA was denied access to the property, um, they played the card of my we had sick and dying animals on the property and we had malnourished animals on the property uh, animal control services I reluctantly allowed to go in uh, only because the individual assured me they were not affiliated with CDFA um, he came on the property he notated that my animals were not sick they were not dying they were in, with the exception of my extremely old horse, which they won an age verification on, that all my animals were in excellent health. He also notated in his report that my chickens were not sick in any way, shape, or form. Uh, this, I would have to say, only on a slightly biased opinion because of the fact that our chickens are in fact vaccinated once a month, every month. Uh, this information was supplied to CDFA, uh, both in written form and in verbal form. They just do not care. The vaccine we give them is once a month. It was done. Uh, it, granted, they are probably considered over-vaccinated, 
but it is done so that they do not become sick. Um, so with that being said, I guess this would conclude uh, this part of it.